Samsung is one of the biggest smartphone manufacturers in the world, and as a result, millions upon millions of people use its Android skin, One UI. Many of those people love Samsung's take on the operating system, while others prefer a slightly scaled back version of Android, like, for example, OnePlus's Oxygen OS. But what are the main differences between the two versions of Android? One UI most certainly has more features, but are those features worth what could be perceived as more clutter? I've tested modern phones with both operating systems. Here are the pros and cons of each. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. There are some major differences between One UI and Oxygen OS. In fact, Oxygen OS is much closer to stock Android than it is to One UI. And as a result, those that want a scaled back, easy to use software experience might prefer OnePlus's Oxygen OS. But while OnePlus has kept Oxygen OS pretty close to stock Android, Samsung has made a number of major changes to how Android works, leading to a pretty different user experience. First of all, there are obvious changes to One UI, like the overall design. Oxygen OS has larger icons with a square look instead of a round one, and generally flatter colors. The ambient display on the two devices is pretty different too. One UI offers a range of different clock styles and designs, while Oxygen OS only offers a few. On One UI you can also add widgets to the lock screen, while Oxygen OS only allows for widgets on the home screen. The home screens of the two different Android skins are also pretty different. On Oxygen OS you'll get a pretty standard stock app layout, with a Google search bar at the top and rounded app icons. Swipe up and you'll access the app drawer. On One UI, you'll get larger icons and the search bar is lower on the screen, which is helpful for one-handed use. Both allow you to install a range of different widgets, though your selection of widgets will largely depend on the apps you have installed. There are, however, more home screen settings on One UI. On One UI, you can tweak the app icon grid and you can tweak other settings like the ability to swipe down on any spot on the home screen to access the notification panel. Of course, the downside to the extra settings and tweaks is that One UI can sometimes feel a little cluttered. Oxygen OS, like stock Android, takes a less is more approach. However, while you'll get fewer controls, for some, it may feel a little easier to use. The stock apps on these two operating systems are different too. Samsung has been working to make its stock apps a little easier to use with one hand, and the result is that in One UI apps, headings are often at the top of the screen, with controls and toggles on the bottom half. It's a nice touch. Oxygen OS apps are very similar to stock apps, with a more scaled back look. One of the big changes to Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 8 is that OnePlus has finally adopted the Google feed, which can be found to the left of the home screen. The Google feed is good at recommending things like articles that you might be interested in. On the left of the One UI home screen, however, is Samsung's Bixby Home. Bixby Home seems to recommend things like apps you might be interested in rather than articles, but it also offers toggles for smart home devices, which might make it a little more interactive. Bixby Home is generally well designed and matches the overall feel of the rest of One UI. The app drawer on these two Android skins is also pretty different. The app drawer on One UI might be a little more useful, considering the fact that users can create app folders within the app drawer. Now, some might argue that folders are more useful on the home screen anyway, but the ability to add them on One UI is still a nice touch. It does kind of make sense that One UI would offer app folders in the app drawer, considering the fact that Samsung ships so many apps with its phones. Samsung is often accused of shipping bloatware with its phones, and it's easy to see why. This Galaxy A51 comes with a host of arguably unnecessary Samsung apps, along with a bunch of Microsoft apps and even social media apps like Facebook. It's unnecessary, and I hope that Samsung scales back the apps that ship with Samsung phones. It's definitely not as bad as previous Samsung skins like TouchWiz, but it's still a little frustrating to see. Next up is the notification shade, which is also slightly different. When you first pull down the notification shade, you'll get similar information, like your notifications, the date and time, and so on. One UI also offers a power shortcut and a link to Samsung's media center. On the second pull of the notification shade, you'll get more quick settings. One UI offers many more quick settings than Oxygen OS, and third-party apps can even add their own quick settings. Oxygen OS and One UI also come with Google Assistant, but Samsung prioritizes its own digital assistant, Bixby, over Google Assistant. Bixby simply isn't as good as Google Assistant, and doesn't seem to understand users quite as often, but it will work fine in most situations. Thankfully, One UI phones still come with Google Assistant. 
One UI seems to lag behind other versions of Android in how users control it. By default, One UI makes use of the older three button navigation system, with the multitasking button on the left instead of the right. You can switch the button to the right, and you can make use of Google's new gesture based navigation system if you want to, which is nice. Oxygen OS allows users to choose the navigation system they want to use during the setup process, with the default being the newer gesture based system. Both Android skins have a few other tweaks and changes. For example, they both offer dual app features, which allows users to install second instances of an app to be logged into a different account. There are, of course, plenty of other tweaks and changes between the two Android skins, but it would take days to go over all of them. The result of the differences can be that One UI can feel a little more intimidating and cluttered, while Oxygen OS is slightly more scaled back and easy to take in. The result of that is that at times you can control more things on One UI. Me? I prefer the scaled back feel of Oxygen OS. Sure, it can't do as much, but I think that it looks a lot better and I don't like adding lots of tweaks and changes to the operating system anyway. Thanks so much for watching this video and again, please subscribe if it was helpful to you. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya.